Hi folks, my name is Paul Boland and I am the owner of Night Trek Productions. I am making this short video because I want to show you, I want to bring to your attention an issue which has come to my attention recently which could be affecting loads of my users without me knowing it. Um, I have discovered lately that Norton's antivirus software, be it their full package or just their antivirus or internet security or 360, whatever, Norton's is marking, detecting in my software, viruses. Now folks, I don't release software with viruses in it. I am a software developer. I create software for your enjoyment. And for my enjoyment, for everyone's enjoyment. And releasing software infected with viruses just goes against the grain. You know, <laughs> how can you be a software developer creating software for people to use and release it all full of viruses? What Norton is picking up is a f something called a false positive. It is detecting a virus that's not there. And Norton is picking this up so badly, so severely, that instead of just quarantining the software, it is physically removing the software from people's systems. Now if you're a user of my software and you see your antivirus, Norton's antivirus, kicking up, saying that my software is infected with viruses, are you going to trust my software anymore? No you're not. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm making this video to show you what's happening and to prove to you that I do not release software infected with viruses. So stick with me folks. This is the Night Track Productions website and if you visit here you'll know that over the past few months I have been advertising a piece of software that I have been working on called Digigraph 3. This software is nearly ready for release folks. And it's a piece of graphical software that allows you to create uh, graphics on digital graph paper. I have to admit I'm really proud of this piece of software and how powerful it has shaped up. I really do believe I've created a professional drawing tool here. But anyway, right now Digigraph 3 is in beta. I have a selection of beta testers who are testing out this software for me and they've been sending back suggestions and stuff. And I've been getting them to test out this software for me. Now Folks, what I want to show you is, years ago, I used to be a Norton's antivirus soft, uh, antivirus user. I trusted Norton's antivirus to protect my system. But I started hitting the problems that has come to my attention now of the software, Norton's antivirus was deleting my programs. And that was not a runner, folks. As a software developer, that is not a runner. So I changed my, so my antivirus and I went over to Essit Nod32. This is the antivirus that I use nowadays, folks. It's very powerful. It does the job perfectly, just like Norton's did. It protects my system very well. And I have no problems with it, folks. And it has no problems with my software. And I'm going to prove that to you now, folks. I have the Digigraph Tree beta installed on my computer here. So if I just come down here to the start menu, uh, there's the Digigraph 3 beta. So I'm going to run that folks. And as you can see, the beta launches. There is no problems whatsoever. There's the software started. Everything is good. All is well. Now folks, I'm going to show you some what happens when I try to run this software on a computer that is running Norton's antivirus software. Right, I'm down in my friend's house and if you look here you can see that he is indeed running Norton's antivirus software. Well it's the internet security package but as you can see it is a Norton's product. So this page here is the Digigraph 3 beta page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the beta I'm going to install it and then I'm going to run it and wait and you see what happens here so let's download the beta version uh, I'm not a Chrome user folks so I'm not 100% sure how this works right there's the beta it's downloaded so I am now going to install it Installing the beta. 
And there it is folks, Digigraph Tree Beta, as you can see it has installed. So I am now going to run the beta. Now this is the same beta version you saw running on my computer just a few moments ago. Now, as you can see the beta is not launching. There is a lot of hard disk activity going on. The hard disk light on the computer is flashing away. It takes a while folks, but bear with it. Obviously something is going on. Something that shouldn't be going on. Just show you there, folks. The hard drive light is flickering away, and still nothing has come up on the screen. I'm going to run out of storage space on this memory card now in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit some of this out, this is way, taking way too long. There you go folks. Sonar has detected a security problem with Digigraph 3 Beta, as you can see, and it is reporting that it has removed the beta. So I am going to view details. And here we go, it's um, infected file removed. Uh, it has detected a sonar threat. So as you can see folks, according to Norton's, Digigraph 3 Beta is infected with a Sonar Heuristics 112 virus. And as you saw just a few minutes ago on my computer, there was no problem whatsoever. What you're looking at here folks is an email reply that I got from Semantic after I alerted them about the false positive reports that I was getting from their antivirus software. If you look here, you can see it's from Semantic itself, the creators of Norton's antivirus. Have a look down here folks. It says, in relation to your submission, upon further analysis and investigation, we have verified your submission and as such the detection will be removed from our products. In other words folks, I was right, there is no virus in my software. This is indeed a false positive report and Semantic have now cleared it up and will hopefully deal with it. But 
The point I'm raising here folks is I shouldn't have to do this. Antivirus software shouldn't be detecting a virus where there's none. And as I said I used to be a Norton's antivirus user until this started cropping up and it started deleting my software. Then I had to switch, I had to move away from Norton's and I moved over to Acid Nod32. And Acid Nod32 does not raise any problems folks. Um, there is, as you've seen, I was able to run, um, I was able to run the beta version of Digigraph 3 earlier with this antivirus working and there was, there was no hassle with it folks. It, it didn't kick up any murder whatsoever. So, in a sense, antivirus software has become a virus. That, that's, that's my conclusion on it. But it's, it's good that I can report it to Semantic and whoever else that I might have issues with. But I shouldn't have to. Antivirus software should look for viruses and if it sees something it should say, right, well there's a virus. But to be deleting and removing software that's not a virus, it's harming independent developers like myself. Who are trying to create a piece of software for us, for myself and other people like you to use and enjoy. And I mean, think about it, you download a piece of my software, you install it, and what do you get? You get a message saying that there's, there's a virus in this software. What are you going to think? Well, you're going to think that I'm releasing virus infested software, and that puts a bad name on me, and that's not a runner, folks, it's not. Anyway, the purpose of this video is done. I've shown you now that I do not release virus filled software, and that what I'm getting is false positives. So, the video's done, folks. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.